Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Temtem. Third video of the recording session. Probably going to be the last. I don't think I've got enough time to do one more after this. Um, I'm going to go and uh, play some uh, Quest for Glory. Anyway, in the last episode, we were able to foil the Doctor's plans for some poor Temtem that's now probably suffering a complete mental crisis. Poor guy. Poor guy. I should really just have him to the team just for that. You know, because you know it's going to be one of those stories where it's like that. It's You know it's going to be one of those stories that's going to be like that Temtem that's just like completely abused. Also, bloody hell, we got one that's actually in mint condition. A Domnal Mac Aid. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, you know it's going to be one of those stories where it's going to be like the uh, the Temtem that's just been essentially physically and mentally abused the entire time. And then turns out to be bloody awesome. I don't know though. Not too sure. At the moment, Kakaops is doing a fine job so far with the team. All right, back in Mokapuni. Might as well go back to Tihani, uh, unfortunately. Oh, no, I wait, I can just go. I keep remembering this. I can just teleport straight to him. Aha! I need to go through this crap. We see you and share breath with you, Mastra. Have you come to refine your skills in a true, uh, in a true competitive combat? With the fighting rules? Not to Oh, you're Rawini. Raweary, sorry. You're the wrong person. <laughs> I shouldn't have spoke to you. I don't know the differences. It's there I'm looking for. Okay, cool. I should always check my quest marker on my map in future. That's what I should do. So what do you get when you play a game completely blind? You have no idea who any of these people are. And you probably won't remember them. For long. I mean, I remember Max because he's a prick. But apart from that. Apart from that. At least he's got the skates now. Ooh, I can... I can... S no, wait. This was the area that I was at before, right? No, this is new. This is new. I haven't been able to do this with the, uh, with the crystal skates. So we can see what potentially brand new Temtem are around here. If I can actually get a damn encounter, that is. There we go. Cried it in. Cried in the encounter. And immediately I'm disappointed. Bloody Spreels again. If one of them was a Lumi, that would have been alright. But no. It's not. Do you know what? Just for that, overkill. Noxious bomb. Wow, it didn't die. Oh, camaraderie. That makes sense. All right. All right, you're going to get some shots off. You went for the nibble of all things. That's interesting. Should have gone for the sharp leaf instead. You take more damage. You're no longer burnt. That is fine, though. Uh, I, was, I was considering it. Instead, I'm going to overkill this guy. I was considering going for the tsunami, but I'm there going, probably best to try and keep William at high health just in case. Just in case. All right, nice. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact that Kakaops has a fire chip. That's very good. Also, actually, I shouldn't be using William right now. William's level 39. He's too powerful. Let's get... Let's get Snarfin, actually. Then Red Rookie after that. Okay, if, this, if that's all they've got, that's fine. We can pick up items, though. Farm pluses. Three more of those. That's quite good. I don't... I don't have I actually used an item that's not been a Tem card yet in battle? I wonder. I don't think I have, to be fair. Right. Where do we go now? We are not in the right place. We need to go... Yeah, we need to go this way a little bit more. We need to go here. Oh, battle. We need to go this way a little bit more. A single spriol. A singular one. Oh, poor you. Poor you. You are demoralized immediately at the sight of Kakaups. And now you're getting punched. Oh, uppercutted. And then, Embers. For the biggest overkill. The biggest of all overkills. Kakalps is nearly up to 39, so Kakalps is already at the point of nearly being um, on par with William when it comes to um, when it comes to levels right now. Uh -huh. So I snuck into the ulterior Omnonesia and tracked her down to the to that giant banyan. They were barricaded there, and then Mastrath showed up. Hmm. Hmm. 
Where's Strath? I know that name. A young tamer, fresh from the Arasolo Dojo. I believe you two met in Denny's. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, in Tequesta, now I remember. Seemed like a good egg. Mm -hmm. You think Mastrath is involved with the Belsoto? Oh. I'm sure it's a negative. Mastrath kicked them out of the Windward Fort and then helped me infiltrate the giant banyan. Uh -huh. So I found out something. Lady Lottie was behind the Fracas in Windward Fort. She was also at the Great Banyan. That links her to Dr. Hammy Joe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who obviously has made some very unsavory allies since the time he was expelled from the Nanto Labs. I wonder if Mastrath... Mm -hmm. Speak of the devil! Stop eavesdropping and join us, Mastrath. I will indeed. Hello. Mm. We meet again, Mastrath. Although, not exactly how I would have liked. Ah. Well, boss, Mastrath stopped Dr. Hamijo's dead in his tracks. If you ask me, I'm pretty happy Mastrath showed up. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Well, it's obvious that something big is going on here. Mm. Lady Lottie and Dr. Hamijo are very unlikely friends. A disgraced Alberian uh, uh, Aristo and a Kipanki renegade scientist working together? We don't even know what they're working on. Master Ath has foiled the Anak operation, but that looked like part of a bigger plan. Uh -huh. I don't see them organizing something like this on their own. Someone is coordinating them. I don't know who. We don't know what for. Clan Belsoto. Whatever it is is way bigger than we thought. Mm -hmm. Well, you're the detective. What do you suggest we do? Oh. And you're the client, ma'am. You didn't say something about... You did say something about the Ark Tamers. Mm -hmm. I was hesitant to contact them over something so trivial, but you're right. This is too big for us alone. Mm. Very well. I'll see if I can raise the four Ark Tamers. I think I know where to find at least one of them. Uh -huh. And I have another one in Arbury. Mastrath, do you want to come with me? You are handy with a Temtem. Mm. There's another lead you could follow. My contact in Kisiwa has been reporting unusual activity for a while. I thought it was nothing, but now I fear it might be Belsoto's doing. We can't be blindsided again. While I was in Denny's, the Belsoto struck uh, here in Omnesia. This time we need to cover more ground. Uh. Alright then, let's deploy our forces. While I go to Arbury, Mastrath can go to Kisiwa and rendezvous with your contact. Mm -hmm. Not so fast. You're a pro, Carlos. But Mastrath isn't. Mm. That one thi it's one thing to get lucky against Lady Lottie once, or distract a few Belsotos for a while. Mm. But if Clan Belsoto is bigger than what we thought, we can't just send Mastrath to harm's way just like that, so soon after graduating from the dojo. Oh. Your call, Tahani. You're the boss. I have to leave now. My planet needs me. And also, I need to get to the airship of Farbury. Master Athel, you managed to convince the boss here. I'll see you in Kasiwa. Find me at the Savannah's Club in Uhuru. Mm -hmm. Good name. Huh. Well, he's got one thing right. I'm the boss here. I would never forgive myself if you got seriously hurt while hunting Belsotos. You'll have to prove to me you have what it takes. Show me you're up to this task. Are you challenging me? Think you might be challenging me. Oh, Nanja has a dojo. Should have known. Welcome to the dojo of Nanja. You must be Mastrath. Dojo leader Tahini just told me you would be visiting our halls today. She's waiting for you in the inner dojo. Is there anything I need to know? Since you're a tamer of the Arasolo dojo, I take it you know how dojos work. You'll we'll have to fight your way up the ranks until you're deemed ready to face the dojo master. This is for the safety of your Temtem, of course. We don't want them to face superior opponents until we know you th that they are ready for the match. The power of nature and fire is strong here. And they are our ancestral Temtem, so watch your step. Great, so William is awesome here. Thanks, good to know. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Hello. You must be that master. I saw you talking to our dojo master. It'll be a pleasure to fight you. Okay. A typhoon and a kapaya, alright. Well, I know one way to get rid of a typhoon. <laughs> First off, lower the bastard's speed. Alright. Embers and a punch, I think. Punch! Good, over half damage. Embers nearly kills you off. Unfortunately, the uh, 
Unfortunately, the uh, the burn isn't going to do enough. You use cheer up on yourself. Okay. You. To be honest. Ah, <laughs> uh, selfish bastard. Typhoon, you des you deserve this. You deserve this burnination. Ah, uh, that toxic farewell is annoying. Kakao's up to 39. Good to see. You also have Grandpa! Of course you do. Who doesn't have Grandpa these days in their teams? I'm gonna have to rest with Kakalps. You can keep punching, though. Keep punching away, Snuff! Good damage. Ooh, Feather Gatling, alright. Oh, nice, Kakalps! See, Feather Gatling's just rubbish. It's rubbish! It's utter crap. Also, Snuff can get four uppercuts off before it has to rest. That's, that's awesome. That's nice. Okay, don't break a calp, so we're not going to be needing you for a while. Now I know what Tihani saw in you. Indeed. You didn't even get to the rest of my team. We get... TC06 Magma Cannon. Okay, like a surge of Anak Lava to the face. Fire technique that burns for three turns, alright. Magma cannon. No one can learn it. God damn it. Ah. Okay, not as good as I was expecting. Ah well. Oh yeah. Um uh, should really swap out the calps. For Yeah, do you want red rookie? Why not? Let's go this side now. Do 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 Oh balls. <laughs> Did that wrong. That's fine. We'll just do this. This. And then whoop. We're through to here now. Hmm, did Dad send you? No? Oh, thank Anak. He's always trying to keep an arm on me, lest to get hurt. Jeez, Dad. I'm here to fight Thames. Prove it! If you're in for it. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so, buddy. You have a per What are you doing with a Perinian here? I thought they're supposed to be fire and nature, Tem Thames. You lied to me! Bloody person at the start. You lied to me. Punch. And now I'm going to kill this kid's Temtem. -tem. Right. Humiliating slap. Yeah, let's see how humiliating it is for uh, Red Rookie. Not at all. Uh, stop humiliating Grandpa. Look, his best years are behind him. He's depressed enough. Stop it. There you go. We stand up for the elderly here in Mastrat's Temtem team. We stand up for the elderly. There you go. That's better. Let me water blade him. You have a Psypat. All right. Well, that's bad for you. Not for me. I'm, I'm quite happy, actually. But <laughs> bad for you. Okay. I mean, I'll go for a Tail Strike on the Perinian just to kill it. And give me enough uh, abilities to uh, go for a Punch next turn if I want to on this Psypat. Windburst! Alright, good damage. Okay, you go for the stair now. Interesting, interesting. Does lower defense, so there is that. Snarf's up to 39. Good to see. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have to rest, unfortunately. Uh, but I can punch you. But it's not going to do too much. I will still punch you! Sod it. High pressure water on Grandpa. Alright. Interesting play. Side pat is no longer alerted. I can go for the peck. Followed by a tail strike, and that should finish you off. It should do. Oh, it does. Okay. It's getting worried there. Thank you for Snarf's brawny ability activating. Yeah, Felicione. At, at least I put up a good fight, didn't I? You failed to knock out a single of my Temtem, so no. You failed in your mission quite badly, to be fair. We got Pan Sunscreen. Damage taken from fire techniques is reduced by... 10% it prevents the burn stats condition. Wow, okay. That's... Is that better than the ice cube, essentially? Sort of is. That could be useful. On William, let's say. Since we are going against fire types, I think it's probably best if we just arm up our Temtems with, um, with equipment. Just arm them up. Alright, well, Snarf doesn't need the experience anymore, so I guess we'll bring in Terry now. Terry's going to be getting all of this. So that's fine. 
Okay. This is an easy one to deal with. Double battle, though. Oh, God. I've just noticed the absolute hell that's next. Oh, a denizen challenger. That's nice. I haven't faced War of Temtem in a long while. Yes, this will be an interesting duel. Temtem up. Jeez, you you two are just brilliant with your hair colors, aren't you? You've just gone for it. Well, you've got a Volve here, so um, I don't expect this lasting too long. Actually, no. I don't have a water type out right now. So Volvir might actually do some damage. I say it might do. It might do. That's a lot of damage already. Okay, we get to see what Volvir is going to do. What is Volvir going to do? We're going to go for the boomerang. That's fine on Terry. Yeah, decent damage. That's all right. Embers. Okay, just like every other bloody fire type that I've got against so far. Come on, I was expecting something different. Give me different. Give me different, damn you. Heck away. Oh, it's still alive. You're not, though. Okay, that's fine. As long as one of you died, I was fine with that. You now probably need to rest. Grandpa's up to 39. Good to see, Grandpa. Good to see. A lower lie. Well, that's just getting Noxious Bombed, really, isn't it? Okay, I mean, I'm going to peck you again to kill you off. You're getting Noxious Bombed. There you go. Take his full bit. It's probably going to knock itself out next turn with overexertion anyway. You try to go for the nimble. Ha ha! We knocked it out first. You were trying to upgrade its speed, were you? All right, now you have really low health. You have an OCR, of course you do. Who bloody doesn't at this point? Right. Well, let's pet you. Get you out of the way. Uh, Terry's going to have to go for it here. you have to gun for it with a fierce claw. Pack away on the lower line. That's going to kill that. Oceara is the only thing you have left. It does have Ice Shuriken, which is going to put cold on me. Yes, it is. That's fine. Because a Fierce Claw does half damage to you. Now I can go Wind Burst and then nibble you, I guess. And that should finish you off, hopefully. Yep. The Wind Burst finished you off. Good to see. Good to see. Terry's no longer cold. That's also good to see. We don't want Terry getting cold, damn it. Nice display of technique, trainer. Good fight. Yes, it was a sight to behold. Indeed it was. So's this. Me trying to get through this, for God's sakes. Oh, God, no, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. Is it the right one? Oh, it might be. Oh, it might be. Oh, balls. There. Oh, yes. We make it through. Oh, it's one-eyed Matthew. Oh, hello again, Mastrath. One-eyed Matthew, what are you doing here? It's quite obvious, I suppose. I'm getting ready to fight you. For I presume you would like to proceed to the Dojo Master's ring? Since we had some rather unexpected shore leave, I decided to join the Dojo. I had not Temtem fought in for a few years. But I'm pleased to say I've shaken off the rust quite quickly, so to speak. So you want to fight me? Do you find that such a shocking prospect? It's not what people come to this hallowed establishment to do. I'm going to kick your ass! Oh, these denizens. Yeah, Matthew, I'm going to kick your ass. Okay. Well, you have a Calibus and a Raze. All right. Good start, actually. Not for me. I'm not having a good start at all. But oh well. Right. Let's go for the Wind Burst on the... I'm going to try and get rid of the Calibus first, I think. Also, those are high levels. That's good damage. That's a dead Calibus right there. <laughs> I hope your raise is good enough. Also, yeah, he's only got two 10-10s. Ten that's fine for me. Embers now? All right. Oh, I get both burn and... Oh, oh look. <laughs> and who gets all the experience? Grandpa does, of course. Of course, Grandpa get. Grandpa just takes all the experience all the time. All the experience all the time. That's Grandpa. All right. Let us go for, yeah, let's go, let's just go for some uh, DC beam action. There you go. Decent damage. Wind Burst does more. Fierce Claw on Red Rookie, that is fine. Uh, yeah, we'll keep, uh, just sod it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to use my Electric Storm. Ah, oh, well. Oh, well. Excellent skills, my dear Master. You may proceed to the Dojo Master. I shall see you on the Narwhal. Cheers, Matthew. Thank you very much. All right. It's all about waiting your opportunity. Damn. Well, finally, a worthy challenger. 
I'm tired of sparring with the same Thames all the time. Damn it, I didn't even know you were there. You have a Banshee. Alright, I do hope that I've put... I haven't put him up front. God damn it. Oh, well. That is fine. You're demoralized now. Okay, well, Magmus... is going to be taking some big damage here. Because it does not have very good defensive capabilities. Also, you have... What was that? Neutrality? You just knocked out Kakalps. Damn you. And the embers on poor Grandpa. Oh! Not Grandpa. All right. You're going to pay for that. Because, Banshee, I have your kryptonite. It's called Ganky Janky. Have fun with him. Did you not have fun with him? Shame. Shame indeed. Red Rookie's going to use Windburst to kill off the Magmus as well. So Red Rookie survives again. For now. Level 40 for Red Rookie. All right. And the new Karma. Well, this is going to suck for you, isn't it? This is going to suck for you. Oh, look how well you survived that. Congratulations. Also, you're, you're a fool. You should at least try to kill Red Rookie. Because here comes Lightning Storm. And look at that health just shred. Victory for Ganky Janky. So yeah, Ganky Janky is now my weakest Tem Tem at the moment. It's playing nuts, that is. All right, I think we're coming close to the end here, aren't we? Oh, no, there's an item here. Two tonic pluses, all right. Oh, I'll go this way. Thank you. All right, well, there's only one thing to do. To Messen's file. What types do you have? You have fire and nature, right? So William and Kakaups are my best options. All right, well. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go for a break here, folks. But in the next episode of Let's Play Temtem, I actually might, I think I might actually have a bit uh, of enough time, to be honest, to do this. But it's the Tihani battle, our third dojo. I'll see you then.